Today I wanted to make a video about this new, at least I think it's new, app on App Lab uh, that allows you to do stuff like this. So the idea is you type in, you know, some kind of search parameters and based on what you put in, this comes out. I think I put for this one some kind of like abandoned city at night, full moon, and it just created this. And what it does is it creates this skybox for you, which you can then save. Not all of the native home environments on Quest 2 actually allow you to do this. And of the ones that do, it's kind of hard to get something to actually fit. Uh, with what's actually, you know, available. Um, some of them fit, some of them don't. Like this one, for example. I think it kind of fits the this home environment. Let's uh, move a little further back so you can see. And I think for this one, all I put in was like neon, uh, neon city or, or neon streets or something like that at night. And it just created this. So this is from App Lab. It's called Moon VR Home. And this is what happens when you jump in. Now you have galleries of what I guess the community made and stuff that you would make. And what I see here is that it actually refreshes every day. So whatever I made yesterday is gone by today. I mean, it's still there. I can get it, but it's not in this my history part. You get 10 free generated ones per day. And when you do them, they come up here and then you can save them. Now, you can do more than just that. So some of these are actual home environments. As you can see, you do need a computer, which really is disappointing. Um, you need to be able to connect your quest to the computer. But look at this. This is awesome. I want this room. I, I want this home environment. But if I want to get it, see. Put add to list. Go to my list. And then it's right there. Download all. And then this happens. So Moon VR home installer is needed to install environments to your headset. And I'm, I'm assuming for most people it would be easy to do this. Um, unfortunately, I have an older computer and it's just not compatible. It, it just, it doesn't work. It won't even recognize the, the quest. So for now, until I could figure out a way to, to do this, uh, maybe through my phone somehow, uh, it's a little bit out of reach, but I can still get the sky boxes. Also, I've noticed that this is a little janky. Certain things don't quite work. The way they're supposed to so for example if i go here and i go to creations these are the ones that i made these are the sky boxes that i made and some of these that i have saved when i jump to them i actually can't actually save them now to the quest because it says press a save sky box I don't know if you can hear that it ain't gonna work so all of these that i saved i can't actually save but if i go here if we go to my history the ones that are in here i can save notice there's nothing though because after a day it kind of just cleans it out and you can't really go back unless you regenerate it and i don't know if it's actually going to do the same thing or if it's going to create something new but might as well try. Be nice. I didn't know that at first. I thought it was saving everything. Um, the, the interface is kind of it's kind of janky. I'm not gonna lie about that. But if they could do, here we go. Copy the prompt. If they could do something to make this work better. Let's see. Let's see if putting the same search generates the same image does take a couple of seconds to uh, to do it though but you can you can actually see some that people have made and you can save them 
like uh, let's see this one here this is just a skybox that you can then put on your uh, on your regular home environment assuming it, it works with a custom skybox really pretty though so let's go to my history I already can tell it's different from the other one yeah yeah this is not the same I can show you what the other one uh, looked like so it's, it's always going to generate something different this is what we just made using the same prompt as this one and it's not the same but you can do a bunch of different things as I said you could I think once you've actually hooked it up to your computer you can actually make your own uh, home environments and do your own thing um, but there's some stuff here that I mean there's there's a lot of different ways to make skyboxes here so I had done realistic before and I also did I was doing digital painting oh wait a second Maybe that's why it didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Maybe this it'll work this time. Remember, this is what came out of the digital painting version. It is pretty. Again, it does take a while. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, it's not. Nope, it's still gonna be random. So it's never going to duplicate what you've done before. You, again, you only get 10 per day. And you can just type in pretty much anything. Uh, see what that does. And that's going to be stylized CG realism. Let's see what that comes out to. Pretty, but it's not what I said. I said underground. Let me say before I forget. All right, so that was stylized CG. I mean, it looks pr pretty realistic, I guess. Let's see what realistic is supposed to look like. Okay, that was fairly quick, actually. Almost the same. But this looks much more realistic. Okay, now let's generate it with the word cave Let's see what happens okay so adding cave didn't really change anything other than it made it look more like caves very interesting now what else could I put maybe if I put inside see what happens okay let's see what this looks like oh hold on there we go okay so we're getting closer so it's making it look like we're actually inside it's not exactly what I wanted but but damn this is nice now I just got an idea I'm gonna try something completely different Let's see if it knows what that is. Okay, it generated something. So all I put was Bioshock. Okay, um, it's close. It's really close. It's so close. Like, it's trying. Like, it, it knows... I think it knows what I want. But it's it's trying. Alright, let's, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can make it a little bit closer. Okay. So, it generated this. And... <laughs> It 
it understands. I think it understands. Because I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a big daddy. But. Man, did it miss the mark. Let's see if it actually works. Okay. Let's see what that did. All right. Um. Nope. Nah. Nope. This this is giving me more like uh, like Captain Nemo vibes than anything else. All right. Well, we tried. It's still pretty, but not what I wanted. We got one more. We can try. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's nice. Again, not exactly what I was looking for, but it still looks cool. But all right, I guess that's it. This is what I wanted to share because I thought it was pretty cool. Now, once you actually have your little sky boxes saved, um, so you want to exit out of the app, Go into settings, go into personalization, and then choose one of these. So it only works um, with certain ones, like Futurescape doesn't work, Winter Lodge does work, Lord of the Rings does not. But what would be a good one? Quest Dome would probably be a good one. Because when you're when you're in the dome here. You can actually see more of the skybox. So let's see how we would actually put this on. So again, you go to personalization. After choosing one of these, you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says custom skybox view. And then they have those three like regular ones that are, are, are set there for you but you want to go into this one here this is the custom one and then anything you've saved any sky boxes you've saved would show up here they're just basically uh 360 uh, photos and then you could just kind of scroll and choose whatever you want here ah so this was that first one we did underground city not quite underground, unfortunately, since you can see the sky. But yeah. Some of them will fit, some of them won't. The only problem is, every time you want to change, you got to come back here. And if you have a whole bunch, it's uh, kind of a pain in the neck to, to find them. Let's try that one. I kind of I kind of liked it. Yeah, see, so it doesn't quite fit since it's an interior and this is supposed to be the interior so anything that any kind of skybox that you generate that looks more like an interior of a space is not really going to work um, it's just not going to look good so that's the other drawback you can't like from what i could tell you can't like rotate the image so that this part of the image would be that way and that part would be on this side but what do you want it's free see this looks better it's a little too too it looks more like a painting but it works i think and it actually works with this uh environment because again you can see more of the outside but yeah so that's just this cool little app I found on uh, on an app lab called Moon VR Home. So if you found this video helpful or in some way enjoyable, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, if you'd like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these videos and maybe what you might want to see in the future. And with any luck, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, take care.